What's up YouTube, Mr. Slin here. It's been a while since I made my last setup video and I thought I'd make another one for you guys, show you guys my computer and uh, how I set up my stream and stuff like that. I actually wrote a guide on how to do a two PC stream setup and I've written that, I wrote it in the description below down there. So click on the link and it'll take you over there. It'll show you all the parts I use for my computer, how to set up a two PC stream of your own. Um, and I also, you know, it's, I'm moving in about three weeks, so I figured I'd better make this video before I move. Uh, I'm actually changing jobs, so I'm quitting my job at Oracle. I just quit my job today, and I'm moving to uh, San Francisco to work for Twitch TV. So I'm actually going to be working there as a partnerships associate, so working on partnership applications, working with partner issues and stuff like that. I'm really looking forward to that job. It's a dream job of mine. I'm really, really excited. Um, but yeah, let's get into the, the setup, shall we? All right, so this is my streaming computer setup. Da, 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 da. Uh, let me just get right into it. Four monitors, two monitors per computer. So these two monitors goes to this computer. This is my streaming PC. And then these two monitors goes to that computer, and that's my gaming PC. So uh, the way this is set up is that this whole setup controls you know, the game, and this whole setup controls the streaming. So in a one PC setup, you would have to have both the game and the stream done on one computer, which can be really intensive and really tough on performance. But by having two computers splitting the workload, it makes things a lot easier and just a lot better performing when you're actually just playing the game without lag. So uh, let me just sit down and show you what it looks like from my perspective. So this is the middle monitor. This is Team Fortress. Um, on the right, I have a uh, just, just you know the basics. I have chat. I have monitor volume, uh, Steam messages, friends list, and Spotify for music. And I also have Mumble and stuff over there too. So that's all handled by this one computer down there in the bottom right. And uh, I have a keyboard, mouse, and um, you know, mousepad all set up for that. So this is actually the uh, Ninox Aurora. I don't have the light on for it, but it's a good mouse. It's kind of small, but I, I like it. Um, this is my uh, Napu Chalk Mini with the red switches. Love the red switches, by the way. And I have this uh, CM Storms or Scorpion. It's a it's a it's a mouse bungee. So uh, when it keeps the mouse tangle out of the way, you can see a little bungee action going on there. So uh, you can use a lot of different things instead of that. You can use a uh, I use a paperweight, or you could use a, a stapler and wrap around a couple times, or a three hole punch. I've also seen people just tape this cord to the back wall. But you know, a lot of times with these mice, you have really long mouse cords, so it's really nice to have something here to hold this mouse cord out of the way. Um, and then on the other side of the, the desk, I got my, my streaming PC, so uh, monitor, uh, sorry, keyboard and mouse for these monitors. And over here, I control my, my OBS, so I'll just give you a quick preview. You know, it's good to see the preview just because um, you want to know what things are looking like as you're streaming. So as I'm streaming here, I'm looking over there and making sure that um, you know I'm not missing anything, that the picture is still good, that... Uh, I'm not missing any subscriptions or donations, and also I want to make sure that my stream just stays live. Uh, over here is an IRC version of the chat, so in case there's a, something wrong with the browser version, I don't miss chat over here. And then uh, on this last monitor, I have donations, and I also have a T notifier, which shows your recent followers, recent subscribers, top donations, latest donations, or either that or I'm looking at Twitter. So that's most of the setup right there. Uh, webcam at the top, so. That way you can see my my smiling face when you look out here when I'm actually streaming. Um, and then you'll also see my my microphone setup right here. And that's probably my least favorite part of the entire setup. So I have a blue snowball, not my favorite microphone. You have to have it really close to your mouth in order for it to sound good. And so that's why I have this stand in the middle of my desk. So this is a, a kick bass drum stand, microphone stand, and I, what I like about it is that it's very adjustable. So there's, there's a weight down here, and then um, this part extends. You can you can adjust the length and the height very easily, and you can just get any kick bass drum stand um, to hold the microphone. And this is also a pot filter as well, so when the, when the blue snowball is really close to your mouth, if you don't use a pot filter, it sounds terrible. Um, and so yeah, and the other thing too that's really inconvenient is that it takes up a lot of my desk real estate. So I actually have to play with my keyboard in my lap down here like this. And then I just scoot in my chair a lot and stick my hand underneath the desk and that minimizes the keyboard noise on the microphone. But it's actually a little bit uncomfortable to play with. I wish I could play with my keyboard on my desk. Um, I also, in the back here, I have a couple speakers hidden that I got for Christmas. So one in the back left, one in the back right. And this is an amplifier that controls them. So it's really nice sometimes to be able to just unwind and not have to have earbuds in my head all the time. 
And um, yeah, that's the bulk of my setup there. So uh, you might be wondering like, man, you know, I'm looking to get into streaming. Do I have to have a two PC setup? And the answer is no, you don't. I streamed with one PC for the longest time and it's, it's very doable. Uh, the thing is, is that um, eventually you get to a certain point where you want to be able to perform to your best ability and you want to be able to put on a good show and the at the highest quality possible. And having two computers make sure that you can stream at the highest quality possible and also make sure that your game is performing at the highest performance possible as well. So uh, really, if you're going to take streaming seriously, if you're going to take it to the next level, you should probably get two computers. The way I was able to afford it was you know, just saving up money through partnerships and through the subscriptions and the donations that you guys, all your support has, has given me. And then what I said was, okay, I'll pay for half the computer, you pay for the other half of the computer, and then that way I'll be able to get it. And then you know all the money that I've been get, getting back since then is helping to pay for the rest of the other half of the computer. So um, that's how it kind of works. I mean, I know there's a lot of computer stuff going on there, but uh, it's totally worth it. I absolutely love streaming for you guys, and it's a lot of fun. So hope you enjoyed the setup video. If you have any questions at all, um, you can either post in the comments on this video, you can post on the thread that I've linked in the description, or uh, you can send me a Twitch TV PM and I'll be sure to answer that. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you all next time. See ya.